Have you ever gazed out of an airplane window while taxiing and noticed large numbers painted at the ends of runways? These numbers are far from arbitrary. They guide pilots in their takeoff and landing procedures. Understanding these numbers reveals the intricate dance between aircraft and the elements. This numerical code is our first clue to the careful choreography of flight. It hints at wind directions, magnetic fields, and precise alignment. The act of landing an airplane becomes a feat of physics and human skill. This system makes air travel safe and efficient. It's a universal language understood by pilots and controllers worldwide, ensuring the runway is always clear and the landing smooth. Next time at an airport, observe these numbers. They are a testament to the ingenuity and precision of aviation, a silent language ensuring smooth skies above. Runway numbers are meticulously chosen based on the runway's orientation relative to the Earth's magnetic field. Each number corresponds to a magnetic compass heading, rounded to the nearest 10 degrees. Imagine a giant compass over the airport. The runway numbers tell pilots the direction for takeoff or landing. For instance, runway 09 points east, runway 27 points west. This system provides pilots with crucial orientation information for takeoff and landing. Why do some runways have two numbers displayed? This is the concept of reciprocal runways. Runways are two-way streets for aircraft. The numbers represent the same runway from opposite ends. These numbers are always 180 degrees apart. For example, 09 at one end and 27 at the other. This system ensures pilots know their direction of travel. It also optimizes runway usage based on wind conditions. One of the most critical factors influencing runway selection is the wind. Pilots always prefer to land and take off into the wind, a technique known as heading into the wind. This technique helps to generate lift at lower speeds, resulting in shorter takeoff runs and smoother landings. This is where runway numbers become essential tools for managing wind conditions. By knowing the runway number, pilots instantly understand the runway's alignment relative to the wind direction. Air traffic controllers use this information to direct aircraft to the runway best aligned with the wind, optimizing safety and efficiency. For example, if the wind is blowing from the east, air traffic control will likely direct aircraft to land on runway 27, ensuring they are landing into the wind. Conversely, if the wind shifts to the west, runway 09 would become the preferred landing runway. This dynamic use of runways based on wind conditions underscores the importance of runway numbers. They are not static designations, but rather tools that allow for real-time adjustments to ensure the safest and most efficient use of airport resources. Section 5. Parallel Runways – Managing Traffic in the Air At busy airports, you might encounter multiple runways running parallel to each other. These parallel runways, while seemingly identical, are distinguished by a letter suffix added to their numerical designation. This simple addition helps to avoid confusion and ensures clear communication between pilots and air traffic control. The most common suffixes are L for left, C for center, and R for right, indicating the runway's position relative to the other parallel runways. For instance, an airport might have runways 09L, 09C, and 09R, all aligned with 90 degrees but positioned next to each other. Parallel runways offer several advantages. They significantly increase an airport's capacity to handle aircraft movements, allowing for simultaneous takeoffs and landings on different runways. This is particularly crucial at major hubs where minimizing delays and maximizing efficiency are paramount. The use of letter suffixes in conjunction with runway numbers ensures that each runway has a unique identifier. This eliminates any ambiguity and allows for the safe and efficient management of a large volume of air traffic. Section 6. The Rare Center Runway – A Balancing Act of Efficiency While rare, some airports feature a center runway positioned between two parallel runways. This configuration is typically found at airports with high traffic volume and limited space for expansion. These center runways are designated with the suffix C, similar to the center runway in a parallel configuration. The primary advantage of a center runway lies in its ability to maximize the use of limited airport space. By squeezing an additional runway between existing ones, airports can increase capacity without requiring extensive land acquisition or construction. However, operating a center runway presents unique challenges. 
The proximity to parallel runways requires precise coordination between air traffic controllers and pilots to maintain safe separation distances between aircraft. Additionally, the potential for wake turbulence from aircraft using the parallel runways needs careful consideration. Despite these challenges, the center runway remains a testament to the ingenuity of airport design, demonstrating how even limited space can be optimized to accommodate the growing demands of air travel. Section 7. Runway Markings – More Than Just Numbers The large numbers at the ends of runways are just one part of a comprehensive system of markings that provide pilots with essential information. These markings, often in white paint, include threshold markings, centerline stripes, and touchdown zone markings. Understanding these markings is as crucial as deciphering the runway numbers themselves. Threshold markings indicate the beginning and end of the designated landing area. Centerline stripes provide a visual reference for pilots to maintain alignment during takeoff and landing. Touchdown zone markings, usually a series of rectangles, designate the ideal touchdown area for landing aircraft. These markings, standardized internationally, act as a universal language guiding pilots on the runway. They provide a clear visual reference, enhancing situational awareness and contributing to safe and precise aircraft operations. Section 8. The Role of Air Traffic Control in Runway Selection While pilots have a good understanding of runway numbers and their implications, the ultimate decision of which runway to use rests with air traffic control. Controllers have a comprehensive view of the airspace, monitoring weather conditions, aircraft traffic flow, and any potential hazards. They use this information to assign runways to arriving and departing aircraft, ensuring the safest and most efficient use of airport resources. Their decisions are conveyed to pilots through clear and concise instructions, guiding them throughout the takeoff and landing phases of flight. The interplay between runway numbers, markings, and air traffic control highlights the collaborative nature of aviation safety. It's a system built on clear communication, standardized procedures, and a shared understanding of the critical information conveyed by those seemingly simple numbers on the ground. Section 9. Runway Numbers Around the World, a Universal Language The system of runway numbering, while seemingly simple, is a testament to the global nature of aviation. It's a standardized system implemented and recognized by international aviation authorities, ensuring uniformity and clarity across borders. Whether you're landing in London, Tokyo, or Rio de Janeiro, the runway numbers will convey the same information to pilots. This universality is crucial for maintaining safety and efficiency in international air travel, eliminating confusion, and promoting a shared understanding among pilots and air traffic controllers worldwide. The next time you're at an airport, Take a moment to appreciate this silent language of aviation. It's a language that transcends borders, connecting people and places through a shared understanding of the skies above. Section 10. The Importance of Understanding Runway Numbers While passengers may not need to decipher runway numbers with the same level of detail as pilots or air traffic controllers, understanding the basic principles can enhance your travel experience. Knowing that the numbers relate to compass headings and that wind conditions influence runway selection can provide a newfound appreciation for the complexity of airport operations. It also allows you to engage in more informed conversations about aviation, understanding the factors that influence flight paths, delays, and even the occasional bumpy landing. The next time you hear a pilot announce a runway change, you'll have a better understanding of the reasoning behind it. More importantly, a basic understanding of runway numbers fosters a greater appreciation for the meticulous planning and coordination required to ensure safe and efficient air travel. It's a reminder that even seemingly mundane details like runway markings play a vital role in the intricate dance of flight. Section 11. Conclusion. A newfound appreciation for the runway code. Runway numbers, those seemingly random digits painted on the ground are far from arbitrary. They are a carefully crafted code, a silent language that underpins the safe and efficient operation of airports worldwide. Understanding this code unlocks a deeper appreciation for the intricacies of aviation, revealing the precision and coordination required to manage the movement of thousands of aircraft every day. So the next time you find yourself at an airport, take a moment to observe the runway numbers. They are not just markings on the ground, but a testament to human ingenuity a reminder of the intricate dance between technology, nature, and human skill 
that allows us to conquer the skies. They are a symbol of the global language of aviation, connecting us all through a shared passion for flight.